Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining what is meant by a path line. So, let's get started. So, here I'm considering a single point which is having the coordinates or the reference coordinates as x0, y0. So, the path which is traced by this point is called as the path line and here I can write down it is defined as the path traced by a single fluid particle as it moves over a period of time. So, the path traced by a single particle with respect to time is called as the path line and here we can see path lines they can intersect one another and here at initial instant where the coordinates are x0, y0 and the time t is equal to t0 at the start and here the fluid particle is flowing for path lines we are using the Lagrangian approach it means the observer would be following this path that is flowing along with the particle so when the observer is flowing along with the particle whatever the path is traced that is called as the path line and it comes under Lagrangian approach. There is another approach which is called as the Eulerian approach in that the observer is standing still and the fluid particle is moving in front of him, him or her. Whereas if we have a Lagrangian approach in that case the observer is flowing along with the particle. So that is the Lagrangian approach and we can get the velocity at different points just by drawing the tangents to that point that is indicating the velocity v bar and where it is ending over here we are going to get a velocity by drawing the tangent v bar that is at the end and here we can see even in case of intersection point that is the path lines may cross one another we are going to get the velocity over here so basically we can say that path lines are the path traced by a single point when it is flowing and as we can see the flow is wavered it can even intersect as we are seeing here so path lines are applicable to all kinds of flow that is it means it is not only necessary for laminar flow it can even be uh, found out for any kind of flow so we can say path lines are used for all kinds of flow laminar as well as for turbulent and even if the path is crossing one another and for that we need to have the reference at the start which is x0 y0 and the time is t0 and using the Lagrangian approach that is this is the path line going in this direction having various velocities so in short that was an explanation regarding the path line at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching